Let me move a little bit more this way. Balance it out. <laughs> there we go. Hey, so hello. We should be live now. That's so fun. Wonderful. We got 124 people hanging out. That's so fun. Um, I'm saying that's so fun. It is fun. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the question is, can y'all hear us and everything? It's kind of random that we're going early, but you know. Just wanted to yo, sure. they said yo. Hey, everyone. Hello, Mad X Max Gaming. Love uh, it. What's going on? Can everybody hear us okay we this is a new little live setup yes perfect wonderful okay great. great so yeah you guys are getting a little view into what we uh use for our streaming setup in general not streaming but we video recording here. setup yes <laughs> but before we usually we're going to use like our laptop camera or something but i realized it's just a really cheap cable to connect your canon camera um to your computer and use it as a webcam kind of nuts um, so, uh, without further ado, um, why don't we, so, okay. Anyway, long story short, that's not the phrase I was going what are for. You saying? Here we go. Here we go. Thank you guys for watching book two and everything. Uh, the finale was really fun to make and really fun to release. Um, and we are just so thankful that you guys stuck with us and watched that season, which a lot of people said was not going to be good. Yeah, no, a lot of people were not excited for it. I really enjoyed it. I don't know if it's maybe my complete lack of experience with other animes, but you really liked it. Yeah. I mean, maybe we're just like I think <laughs> really it, easy to please, but I enjoyed it. I thought it, it was great. Yeah, I will say the only Montana looks beautiful, says so Harry Poppins. Montana you. is beautiful. Guys, it's it's, it's so nice. Yeah, she can he step on me. Hey, <laughs> who said oh wow. Oh, I, I I would say who said it, but I, I cannot read that language. But thank you. It's Russian. Russian. Oh wow. Um but I was going to say yeah with book two um, speaking as somebody who like watches a lot of cartoons, um, I will say one thing going against us in this judgment is Montana and I really haven't found a show that we dislike when we watch it. We're pretty like, easy TV people. We're not very like, yeah, it has to be us. You must be this good for us to watch. Yeah, that no, doesn't make any just, sense. Yeah, we, we we're killing time. There's a pandemic. Exactly. But what else are we going to be doing? Yeah, but even regarding regardless of that i think objectively speaking the only reason why people would think book two is not great is because of the choice of removing the last lives which i think was a very bold and fantastic choice to because like already a a ang barely used his past lives right? when it came to like the third season he was like cut off completely like it it was only occasionally he would use it and cora it I don't Why know. Why wouldn't you guys want more of that? Yeah, I don't Why know. Why wouldn't everyone want more of that? I don't I know. Don't... I, I'm, I, it, that choice would be the only one people I think would latch on to. But other than that, I think the book was great. There yeah. were some animation issues here and there, but the story made sense to me and I just really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, so we really enjoyed that season. Thank you for watching. But we're also so excited to start season three. We have seen episodes yeah. one and two so far. And so far, it's incredible. Very, very good. Um, definitely. Let me just They're readjust like it. Wait, can y'all hear Montana? Okay, this is a nice test like because said they can, can we hear? Me. By the way, thank you for the 400 me. joining us. Thank you. Um, if we can hear her okay and everything, good. Oh, we we got a we got a while in the in the queue, I guess. Yes, Perfect. wonderful, fantastic. Okay. Yeah, we've watched two seasons of book. Uh, we've watched two, two seasons episodes. of book three. <laughs> we've watched two episodes of book three. Really like it so far. There's definitely a shift now that they know that they're going to have another season, mm -hmm. which is very cool to see these creators have the opportunity to plan multiple seasons at a time. Because we know lines. they can do it time right? and time again. In Avatar, they showed that they could plant a seed and let it grow. And Absolutely it's... phenomenal. And I'm already kind of seeing a difference between how they did season one and season two versus this new season three it's mm -hmm. like stuff is more subtle and it's very i don't know there's less of like this will be important later on because yeah. it's like two episodes down the line um i totally agree yeah different. i i i the thing i'm noticing is there's a lot more little moments like when cora like grabbed raiko's face or God. or the way that asami like threw the keys to cora like i i don't know there's little <laughs> jokes here and there oh here's one thing that stuck out to me when mako was like yeah, uh, official police business. It's official. And yeah, and it goes on for a little bit. And I'm like, they have to kind of rush if they're doing one season to get every plot point they want in. But now they're having so many fun little like things that they're adding into it. I don't know. It, it, it adds for more. Sorry, it adds together to make a more um, 
satisfying product i feel like i i it's harder to predict though because there's more nuance going on i feel like Would yeah you agree with no that? absolutely mm-hmm. i'm trying to find another question how's appa he's amazing oh um very very sweet very smart boy he's out on the deck right now yeah. napping because he's tired mm-hmm. but yeah he will eat anything if we bring him in here so yeah it's <laughs> this room it's is kind of a disaster zone for dogs he's, yeah He's so energetic and young. He's a young puppy. They're mm-hmm. like literal babies. So yeah, and uh, I don't know. He's doing well. It's it's uh we've been taking him on a lot more walks, getting him more exhausted. So he'll take like he'll take a nap, he'll wake up and be more docile, not have as much like puppy hyper energy. Um, but he's doing really really great. He's growing so fast. Um, and we're just really I don't know. I love him so much, yeah. and I'm excited to bring him into more videos. But like Montana said, it's kind of hard because he's just so high energy. Mm-hmm. But um. As he uh, maybe we'll get it, maybe we'll somehow get him like his little dog bed in between us or something and yeah, like have him nap here. here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, here's a good one. A.H. asks any Cora and Asami predictions. I want them to get together. I really <laughs> like them. And I'm really, really happy that they didn't have them do like the very stereotypical, very easy right there option of you kissed my boyfriend when you didn't know we were together and now we hate each other. No, No. they're fine. Mako's not that big of a deal to either of them. So Mm. why would they risk such an amazing friendship and maybe more than that? Yeah. I don't know. I I really love their friendship. Yeah. In the first episode of season three, we get to see them learning to drive together and it's so their energy is so great. And it it, it builds, I, I mentioned in the video, it builds off of that energy they made when they, um, when they did the racing on the racetrack in Absolutely. season one, and it's good to see it back. Uh, Ysef Al Say Holly asks, "Do you think Cora is the worst Avatar?" No, 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 no. Um, I I don't think that we know enough Avatars to. Also, is it is Avatar the plural or is it Avatars is plural? I just wonder. I don't know because they're kind of the same person, but also not really. Yeah, so, I don't I think know. But you can pick. Anyway, I think that people probably say they hate Korra um, because he, she's not Aang, um, and they probably have grown attached to Aang and think that he represents everything an Avatar can be. But we learned from when he talked previous lives, they all gave him advice in different ways, and they're all different shades of the same soul. And I think that Korra is being faced with a lot of issues that previous avatars have never had to face. She has poll numbers. She has modern technology, like all bearing down on her. Um, Back in the day, they used to be like, whatever the avatar says kind of goes. And now they really like to criticize her and not really listen to her. Um, And I think despite that, she's found a way to fight back against insurmountable odds and develop into a character that's her wisdom didn't seem like she just got it all of a sudden she's had to work for it and i don't know i really appreciate her and i think she's a great avatar what do you think i think cora is amazing i love her um i think the fact that she got her bending at such a young age makes her incomparable to any of the other avatars because she's Mm -hmm. just living i don't know they're all living different lives and that's such a hard thing to do that i really feel like i can't make judgments but realistically a lot of other avatars did way worse things. Yeah. Like they were worse at their jobs. Like, is she really doing that bad of a job? I don't know. Maybe she does some bad things moving forward, mm. but I don't yeah. know. We got a uh, question from, thank you for the donation, Morgan uh, Morrow. Are you excited to see mental health be shown in Cora? It really shows in seasons three and four. Well, I'll take Montana. I'll let Montana wait. take the reins. I can't wait. I, okay, I'm a psych major from. For those of you who don't know, I think mental health is one of the most underrated, under talked about important things in the world. I really think there needs to be so much more of a dialogue, especially for children. Um, Agreed. So I love when TV shows do a good job of making it not seem like this shameful thing that can't be talked about. So seeing it from the avatar is amazing that's something that you really you can't even quantify how big of a deal that is for kids growing up to see that yeah and it it builds off of sort of i feel like the through line from avatar there's always been this element and the reason why i keep being drawn i've always been drawn back to it is that they're not written like your normal um like kids show characters they all have these like obvious signs of mental health issues and they have to deal with them with in real ways like zuko's journey 
is like the definition of PTSD and overcoming like your parents' way of life and becoming your own person and finding your own path. And well, I and just toxicity and trauma bond. Exactly. The fact that he, you know, initially gave in to Azula and then finally was able to separate that phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yeah. incredible. And I it's gonna be great to see that built on. Yeah. Um, so hype hypno sniper 2003. Thank you for the donation. Um, which characters are most attractive to you guys in the avatar universe? That Olin, is a good question. Korra, Asami. Yeah. Um, and well, the avatar universe as a whole, oh, I will I say it was like this, like Korra specifically. Mm, well, he said avatar universe. So I think he probably is in, or oh, they gosh. are yeah. including both. Um, well, I'm going to assume we're going to say that all the characters from avatar have grown up to be like adults adults so, yeah um i'd say adult Sokka was kind of he looked pretty great yeah um adult Toph i thought was actually really she was beautiful pretty. yeah um but i think i think the most beautiful person in avatar is probably asami yeah asami is really just She's ridiculously so gorgeous stunningly beautiful but bolin's arms bolin cora cora's back come on it's unbelievable yeah. what um <laughs> Cora can step on me. Exactly. Kyoshi yeah. can step on me. Oops. Cora a Freudian slip next. Cora <laughs> in seasons in in the first two episodes of season three has also shown she's like a lot more assertive and like yes. powerful. Like the energy she has is even more attractive now, I'd say. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh the flying pig, thank you for the donation. Uh really, really appreciate it. All donations are going to be going towards um just improving the reaction setup, getting getting stuff together uh you know <laughs> it's the most unspecific thing we're okay you know, maybe we get another college students trying to figure this whole thing out yeah so we're just getting our setup mm -hmm. built and improved and trying to troubleshoot so it's yeah. much appreciated and, and as helpful. you can see we, we were saying the same thing when we ended avatar and had a live and like look how far our <laughs> setup has come since then so thank you but what anyway doing the avatar um, the yeah, flying pig so. says, oh, sorry. wait, sorry, uh, sorry. The, yeah, the, the, the question's it, go good to disappear. Uh, is Varric your favorite character yet? I really love him. He's I, fantastic. He's like a bit of an Iron Man, I feel like. I just really enjoy his presence. Yeah. I don't know. He didn't seem like a, like a good guy. You know, I mean, like he's mm. done some bad things, but I don't know. People just seem to be fine with him. Yeah. So I don't know. But yeah, like really great vibes. From him even yeah though he's done some bad he, stuff somebody so. i saw a comment that said he's definition chaotic good yeah where like he, he his end was i want to get troops to the south but his means were just like i'm gonna create a whole crap storm to exactly. make it happen um gda 612 thank you for the donation says sup what's up sup um love that <laughs> let's see uh Derek is so fun it makes up for it exactly yeah exactly. and it and the other thing is like he didn't he hasn't done really any lasting bad like nothing that he's done has been yeah unchangeable. i just like thinking about asami like going home and crying about all of her like business beat. losing yeah. her entire business like that makes me want to cry yeah and that's on him mm. but he fixed it so yeah, came through, which is, yeah, he, and he also threw Mako in jail, so. Yeah. But that, like, he, came, he th came through and fixed it, but, um, so Jiwan Tang, thank you for, uh, or Giwan Tang, thank you for the donation. Um, Kenny said that Korra mirrors Zuko in ways. Who do you think the next Avatar would mirror personality-wise, attitude-wise? That's, I don't know if there's a direct correlation between the Avatar being a lot like the counterpart of the previous avatar but if that is the case then i would say it would be who's like cora's who's cora zuko or it's who's cora's ang but Bo bolin <laughs> no no uh cora is ang well, well no what i'm saying is if cora is a lot like zuko who is a lot like ang well no but cora mirrors zuko because cora is Aang. So, who would the next avatar? It would be the enemy of the next avatar would mirror Korra's enemy. Which because is what I'm saying. Who is, if Korra's a lot like Zuko, who is the Aang to her Zuko? The, gotcha. That's what gotcha. I'm gotcha. No, um, she is Aang. Who is her Zuko? 
she's a lot like Zuko. Koromir right. Zuko no, no, in no, no, ways. No, no, but you're <laughs> saying that Koromir Zuko, because the next avatar becomes like the enemy of the previous avatar. Yep. So the next avatar after Korra is going to, to... personality wise, mm -hmm. mirror Korra's biggest enemy. Who, if she's a lot like Zuko, would probably be like Aang. That's where you're going with That's this. literally I what I'm saying. I disagree completely. I disagree anyway, completely. Well, I'm just using <laughs> I'm using the logic presented. If That's Aang's me. enemy Zuko ended up being a lot like the next avatar, that means that Korra, who's a lot like Zuko, enemy is probably a lot like Aang, who would be like the next avatar. No, it's not if A equals B, then B well, no, that, no, no, that, go back and that forth was the like literal that. logic. I was no. saying that's the only thing we have to go off it of. It progresses. It moves along. Anyway, yes, anyway, this is a opposite. stupid argument. We have no idea what we're talking about. The next avatar, I have no idea what they'd be like. They're gonna be an earthbender. Okay. Um, which we haven't seen. Well, Cora, I mean, Kyoshi. Take care of each other. Maybe please. they'll be like Toph. Maybe they'll be like Toph. That would be nice. Well, I mean, Cora is also like Toph. Dang. Um, Penelope Valentine says, take care of each other, please. We're very proud. Oh, thank, thank you. you. So thank nice. you for the donation, too. And for saying you're proud. Cora, uh, Cora's boy. Aang is arguably Tenzin. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said, too. Korra has an Aang counterpart. That's literally yeah. what I said. No, okay. Um, then. And in some ways, do you hear the... The boy, yes. So the I'm dog is barking. The uh, she, um, we're going to see how that goes. Yeah, I'm going to... I'll do some little solo questions. Um, And in some ways, give us off Janora. Oh, maybe Janora is what the next Avatar is going to be like. I could see that. That's really awesome. I like that idea. Um, um Let's see. Is Montana going to react to Attack on Titan? Says Andrew Wynn. Um, yes. What we're going to do is I've seen seasons one through three of Attack on Titan. Um, I absolutely loved it. I watched it really quickly. Um, but this final season I want to take my time with because I'm going to be watching dub. I know a lot of haters are not going to like that, but I'm going to be watching dub and it hasn't fully come out yet. So I figure if I do a slow series, by the time I'm done, it'll all be out on dub. And then once that it'll be the side series to Korra. When Korra and Attack on Titan end, Korra ends on, I'm planning, May 30th. Then we will have a full-on series with me and Montana reacting to Attack on Titan from the beginning the entire time. Um, the whole series. And here's a little special you guest for y'all. The man himself. Appa, the boy. Everybody drop an awa awa in the chat. Awa awa. Um, Oh, le thank you, Landon Kingsley, for the donation. Says, hey, since Korra has loose similarities in appearance to Katara, who do you think the next Avatar will look like? Typically, they say... Asami. Exactly. They say that the next Avatar looks like the love of the previous Avatar. So Asami. Asama. Oh, we're getting a lot of Awa Awas awa, in the awa, chat. Awa Awa He's a little He's gremlin you, boy. Oh. oh yeah oh my goodness this you is missed what, a 50 dollar something fi that's five dollars five dollar oh okay gotcha, and gotcha, gotcha. well leo garcia thank you for the thank donation <laughs> i think they're having their mind blown by alpha As, and who wouldn't look and at who his wouldn't? face look at this tiny man yeah he, he just woke up from a nap so he's quite he's gonna be energetic and nippy yeah we'll see yeah. What breed is Appa? He's a mix. Mix. We don't really know all of what he is. Should we get him a toy or something? He's just going to want to do this. <laughs> which I can never Um, make. Somebody said, wait, no, yeah. you totally missed a $50 one too? Did we miss a $50 donation? Oh, we missed ah. a $50 chat from Kevin. 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 We're going to go back up. Kevin, we're finding it. I can't see it. Kevin, where's your donation, Kevin? Well, if we can't find it, I can't see it. It's not showing up for us. Weird. But Kevin, sorry we missed the donation. Can somebody repeat his his question? Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, I just can't see it. Um, okay. But if anybody saw the $50 <laughs> one, what was the question that they asked? Because we could totally answer it now. Oh, it was 50 pesos. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That might have so converted did, to a so different. Then we did answer, yeah, right. we probably did. Okay. Gotcha, um, gotcha, cool. Gotcha. That makes sense. Fantastic. Um, so anyway, oh, it's probably just converting on our device. Oh, that's probably what's that happening. That makes sense. Anyway, uh, more questions. Appa's yawn. Appa's yawn. Oh, Nicholas oh Perry with a hundred dollar donation. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you. Oh, uh, you're the goat. I've I've seen you donating a lot ah. in the past. It means a lot that you believe in our sort of future as a channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's get to your question. 
Did you know Aang never meets his grandkids? That's so sad, but theoretically, when Korra goes into the Avatar state, not anymore. She's playing. <laughs> not, I'm talking about before. Yeah. Mr. Boy. Want me to hold him this day? Mr. Boy. Um, but yeah, that makes me really sad, but I kind of, I don't know. I wish <laughs> he could have met Janora and know that she was able to achieve that level of spirituality that Tenzin was never able to or yeah. is now able to that also makes me sad well ang helped tenzin get to right there, but so. he didn't see him like do all of it you know mm. well he might have not the yeah like not the extent the thing, to which went up and get huge uh, literally every very second. quickly he's he, over 20 pounds now yeah he was 10 when he went to his first vet appointment mm -hmm. and Someone said he's a husky corgi. No, his he's legs not. Are so he's long, not a corgi. Bro. His legs are so long, uh, my guy. Oh, Rachel Thank Kilgore. You. Oh, multiple donations. Rachel Kilgore says, you folks are amazing. Love all the content. Any hopes for blooming relationships in this season? I will say, yes, I hope good relationships happen. I hope Bolin finds somebody. That's Bolin. what I'm looking Bolin, for. Bolin, love for Bolin. Yep. I need it. I mm -hmm. need it to happen. Despite that, I am hoping that none of it happens within team avatar i hope that they like asami Korra, unless it's them. asami Korra. Uh, but what i mean is i want it to just i want it to stop being like petty things that make them split up every five seconds i want them to become close as a team and become like friends you know i'm excited about that that would be fantastic um thank you for the donation again thank you morgan Mal morrow for another donation montana how do you feel from the start of the series to now um, oh. definitely more complex and adult than I thought it was going to be. Um, mm. I was a little bit nervous about all of the, um, not negativity surrounding Korra, but just the like, ah, oh, don't compare it to, to Avatar. Like it's, you know, if you compare it to, to Avatar, it's going to be awful. Like, how do you not compare it to Avatar? Yeah. It's the same universe. Mm -hmm. But I really, really like it. Um, I had a fantastic time. I really enjoyed all of it so far. I think it's great. Um, yeah, I have no, no problems, no issues with it. I had a great time. I'm glad I watched it. Hmm. Yeah, I, I would have to agree with, by the way, thank you, Leo Garcia, for your donation. We're going to get to your question in one second. Um, I think that, I don't know, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And honestly, right now I'm enjoying it more than if I went and watched Avatar, I will say, because this is new for me. Mm -hmm. I watched that as a kid and it's just so fun. Like the fact that in episode two of book three, spoiler alert, the fact that old man Zuko comes back yes. with a dragon. Are you kidding me? He is a dragon. I am ridiculously over the, like, I love this show and I'm excited to do a second watch through as well quickly without mm -hmm. having to like sort of stop. Yeah. Um, Leo Garcia, thank you for the donation. Kenny, have you seen Attack on Titan in nine minutes? I feel like we're all. Like, we all need to see both of you react to that after season one. Also, thank you so much for everything you guys do. Amazing content and vibes. That's so thank nice. you. Thank yeah, you. Um, ah, I'll make ah. sure to check that out. Um, I, I think I, I love those videos where they'll try to sum up an entire series. Right? Like, those are I think so there's a fun. funny Can Avatar one that's that? animated. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely make sure to check that out. Tyler Schultz, thank you for the donation. Do you have any plans to watch The Dragon Prince or read the Kyoshi novels? I've heard the Kyoshi novels are really good. I think you should read those. Amazing. I would love that when I can read again. Yeah, um, school ruins our ability to read. School, I haven't read for fun since high school. And I used to it's love so it. Like sad. all the Rick Riordan, Percy oh my Jackson God. books. I would read I books this champion. thick. Who, who's reading Hundreds books of pages in a day for fun. And now I'm like... I can't <laughs> now read, I'll get a I paragraph can't read this reading instructions it's two pages and uh, uh, it's never gonna happen it's not gonna happen so. or I'll read it and I don't process it yep just empty empty into my brain mm. uh oh we got another donation I don't know how to say exinetech thank you for the donation w what would you like to see from the next what would you like to see from the next avatar's abilities I want to see one that isn't as powerful as the last few and has to learn to be more precise. Um, I, so that's an interesting point that Korra and Aang both came in with just like Aang from the beginning showed that he's just off the charts powerful. I, the only issue I have with that assertion is I feel like that would take away from them being an avatar. I feel like being an avatar and having Rava in you gives you a guaranteed power boost. Um, mm. so I don't know if that could be a possibility, 
but I would love <laughs> to see a few episodes. Like what I thought of after season one was I'd love to see Korra without bending for a little bit. And oh, here's my question. At the end of book two, when Rava is removed from Korra, can Korra still bend all the elements? Because Rava was not infused in Wan, and Wan could bend all the four elements. Mm -hmm. Could Korra still bend four elements there, or any elements, or no? That's I'm just wondering that. But I'd love to see an avatar that doesn't have bending have to make their way based on their intelligence, you know? Yes, she can. Why didn't she in that last battle? That's yeah. one thing I was wondering, because we saw that Unavatu definitely did. Um, so why couldn't she? Yeah. Um, Can you teach Appa a trick with the command yip yip? We absolutely will. We, we have a treadmill for him because yeah. he's sled dog something. Um, so there's going to be a lot of running mm -hmm. programmed into this tiny man. Um, so that's going to be treadmill run, um, which is fantastic. I just had an idea. What? So Landon Kingsley, okay, Kingsley thank goblet. you for the donation. Ugh. Um, yes, Percy Jackson, who would te team Avatar's Greek godly parents be? Ooh. Love your kind of him vibes. Before that, I want to say they're coming out with a live action Percy Jackson series. We should react to that. That would be so I'm fun. Would who would that. watch that? Who would enjoy that? Anyway, um, so are we talking about this team avatar? Yeah, we are. Um, who would Korra's parents be? I think Ares would be Ares, one of her 100%. parents. Ares, yep. 100%. And maybe, maybe Aphrodite. Oh, no. Well, Athena. She didn't have war and smart. I feel like Asami would have Athena. Because she uses more intelligence, whereas Korra's more power. Asami would have Aphrodite. Are you kidding that's me, true, That's true. That's Are true. That's true. Are you kidding me, that's bro? True. That's so factual. Absolutely not. Yeah. Um, uh, who would be Bolin? Would maybe Hephaestus? No, he's too cute. Probably also Aphrodite. Well, I, they can have sa the same godly parents. Who's the fire He's... god? Well, Hephaestus would be maybe Mako then, because that's fire. That's like Nico from yeah. Percy Jackson. Yeah. Ow! Ow! You can't bite me like that. <laughs> oh wait, Katara. Sorry, pff, Korra. <laughs> no, I was gonna say Ares and Poseidon. That doesn't make sense. No. Nope. Well, um, <laughs> we are passing our test here. He is really nipping really here. Really going for it, tiny man. Very cute. Very cute. Um, who would be uh, Bolin is Dionysus. Bo oh, maybe. Or that Hermes. No, he's not mm -hmm. as fat. Well, he's light on his feet. That's one of his air earthbender things. Mm -hmm. Can you hear your voice? Oh my God. What are we talking about, about my it? singing voice? Or are we just saying the way you speak? The way you speak. Oh my God. Um he can't bite me like that. Literally, he's trying to tighten transform every five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, season two. Oh, late vibes. Thank you for the two donations. Season two wasn't bad, TBH, but I think people tend to hate it because compared to season three and four can feel lackluster. Aside from one story, love him. That's, you know, it, that happens a lot. I'm going to grab um, a toy for him. Yeah, I'm going to get the next question before it goes away as well. Late vibes, thanks for the donation. I mean, people are big mad that all past lives are lost, but hey, that's the cost of progressing a story in a new territory. I completely agree with both of your notions. Could book three have happened without book two? No. So stop complaining about book two. The idea that we're getting a new airbender nation, that is so cool. Or not even a nation. Oh, somebody sees the toys. Somebody sees the toys. What oh. does he look like in high definition? We'll put him close. <laughs> Toy. By the way, we've noticed that um, potentially that is bad writing. What is bad writing? Um, the fact that they built to a result the entire season and then it happened and then it had consequences that were real. I think not having a clear subject um, of your sentence is bad writing. Ah, yes. I agree with that. Um, so by the way, guys, watch what happens when we get slightly closer to the camera. <laughs> we look so much better and we're thinking of moving the couch forward so that we look a little bit more in depth. What do y'all think? I think it's very clear on the YouTube. Mm, Which do we prefer? Is. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Like, hey, come here. Look, I have a, I have a thing for you. There you go. There you go. Now all the airbenders aren't related. Exactly. <laughs> I had a really big issue with the fact that, like, how are the air Montana banders? can step on me. Agreed. Oh my God, Been there, done that. No, I am. <laughs> We've done a massage like that. that You've walked Kenny! on my back. You've walked oh, on my okay. back. I. <laughs> <laughs> 
Be closer, somebody says. Yeah, maybe I'm we not should. Talk literally ever again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Beautiful people deserve closer angles, guys. Thank oh, you. we'll go find some you then. You're so nice. Um, Everyone's so nice. Shut up! You always look awesome, guys. <laughs> uh, let's thank you, guys. Mm. Kenny can. Cho- anyway, uh, ki- kiss. Oh, somebody says kiss. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Huh? Ooh. Uh, are y'all still going to do Clone Wars? Last season literally made me cry, especially finale, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. If you didn't cry during that finale, that's totally fine. I'm not going to gatekeep here, but I definitely did, and I think a lot of huge av- sorry, Star Wars fans did. We still plan on watching Clone Wars. I just feel like Clone Wars, I want to do reactions to, it doesn't have a very comprehensive chronological story, so I think that I'd rather have like attack on Titan as like a main series when Korra ends and then clone wars as a secondary series that comes out with sporadic best episodes of clone wars. Like we go on a, maybe we'll do the Ahsoka arc and just go through all the Ahsoka episodes, but rather than it occurring as a regularly scheduled thing, it should just be kind of more random because the episodes are more random. Well, let me know what you guys think about that, but yes, we're still doing clone wars. It's my favorite TV show of all time. 